Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what is on my iPhone 6 Plus video. So when you enter my phone, you can just see my wallpaper that I took when it was a lot colder outside and there were icicles. It was really pretty actually. And then when you enter my phone, um, you can just see all of my apps. So I only have two pages of apps and I don't have any like um, boxes or organization things. Um, they are all just open and I tried to color coordinate it to the best of my ability. On my first page, um, I have apps like Sephora, I also have um, this collage app and I have Crossy Road of course which is my favorite. I have Snapchat and just all of the things that usually come with your phone and I have not used the health app yet but I really do want to. I also have pages. And in the bottom bar I have Procrastor. So this is just an app to help with my procrastinating and I have this finish thing. If I have a to-do list that's really long and I'm very disorganized I will definitely use that and then there's my messages and my phone. And on my second page I have apps like Traffic Racer which is really fun, GarageBand, I have my mail which I recently cleared out, Instagram, The Weather Channel, and I have Flappy Bird which I know is like really old but I kept it from my last phone. And I also have Episode, I have Jeopardy, and I have iMovie and Podcasts. And I really do love all of these apps and I highly recommend them to anybody. And what's really cool about the iPhone 6 Plus is that it's like an iPad and you can flip it sideways, which I find really cool and really interesting. And I love that feature. And so these are like my top apps that I cannot live without. A is the collage app. So when you go into the collage app, I think that it's really cool. You can make various collages. I can show one of the collages I made for my friend. Here it is. Um, I did not pay for anything for this collage. It just automates the theme. It literally took five minutes. It was really, really fun and fast. Another app I cannot live without is Snapchat. I think Snapchat's pretty self-explanatory. I love Snapchat. And Crossy Road. If you have not played Crossy Road, you have to play Crossy Road. I am like literally addicted. I'm sorry, that was my sound. It was on. And I love Crossy Road. You can just cross the street. I'm actually playing this through my viewfinder and I died. But it's okay. And so I love that game. I cannot live without the weather channel. I personally prefer the weather channel's forecast to the weather apps. So if you don't, if you find like the weather app that comes with your iPhone is not accurate enough, I recommend you get the weather channel app. I also cannot live without Instagram, my daily Instagram routine. I go on it like every morning sometimes. And um, yeah, just scrolling through my feed and stuff like that. Another app that I completely and utterly recommend is Episode. Episode is so much fun. It's like people write these stories and you can just read through them and they are so much fun to look through. And I love them. You can, I think you can write them, but you have to write them on a laptop. But I think it's so cool. And my last app that I really do recommend is Jeopardy. Oh my gosh, Jeopardy is so much fun, even though I don't know like any of the answers. I got it one day while we were watching Jeopardy, and I was like, ooh, there's a Jeopardy app. So, like, I requested if I could buy it so I could become smarter. And I guess I did because. Sometimes they have the same categories in different games, and so if you know the answer, you feel like really proud of yourself that you actually learned something. But other than that, those are like my must-have apps and what's on my iPhone. If you have any app recommendations, please leave them down below for people to see or for me to see. I would love to see um, your app recommendations. Alright, that is all for this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!